Hi, so today I will share uh, three hairstyles for short hair. All of them are super easy, super fast, something that you can use for every day or maybe for an event. So if you're interested, let's just crack on. First, I'm just gonna start to applying some dry shampoo for my hair. They're already pre-curled. I have a video where I'm showing how I curl my hair and how it's the fastest and easiest. I'm gonna use some dry shampoo to get a bit more texture. So I'm just kind of massaging the dry shampoo in my roots. And the first one is kind of half up, half down. So I'm just taking half of my hair. So I'm just starting on the top of my ears and I'm just gonna go into the middle of the head with my parting like so. And then I'm just basically brushing the hair with my fingers. We don't want it too neat, too smooth. So we want to keep the texture in. And also I am definitely not going too high with it. I'm just taking this section and kind of twisting it. So I just twisting it around its base. And then I'm just taking some bobby pins and pushing them inside in the twist. And I will just take a few bits out so it's kind of a little bit messier and then the top as we already pinned it I'm just kind of pushing it out a little bit to get a bit of volume on the top and that's basically it that's kind of our first updo that are, is super super easy and very very soft so even if you would go for a wedding you could still do that on your hair you can add maybe some flowers at the back in the twist you can kind of just back comb your hair with your fingers and it just adds a little bit more fun so we're just kind of adding a few grips few pins it looks completely different it looks like nice and messy we can spread out this hair a little bit more and then if you have some flowers you can add some flowers to here the next one is just a little braid that we can add as a detail to our hair and as well it's just gonna make it a bit different than every day so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the Dutch braid so the one that kind of raises and we will open it up from the top but again I'm doing it very messy and very loosely so I just take kind of triangular section on the top I split it in three parts so I just go underneath with my braid and I start adding the hair I take a piece I put it underneath I take another one again we put it underneath and we just continue like this for a while adding the hair to our braid but as the hair is quite short we don't have <laughs> much to go to and now I will just open up so I will loosen the braid so I'm just kind of taking from one side and from the other side and we are making it bigger And it's just having much more definition and obviously if you have blonde hair or like balayage or highlights it's gonna stand out more because you can see the different colors and then I will just take it and secure it kind of I split my hair in here and just in here I will hide it a bobby pin and I do a crisscross with my bobby pins so it's secure and we don't need to put many of them just like so we release the hair from underneath and again that's it so we're done we can just kind of back on with our finger these hairs in the front so we get a bit more texture in the hair 
but that's it it looks very very cool it looks like you put a lot of effort in it looks like you have super thick hair because it raises a lot and but it's again it's super easy and then if you want you can add maybe some pearls or you can just leave it as it is And the last one is actually the one that takes the most effort but still it's not too complicated and it's still quite fast but this is gonna have all our hair up so in here you can choose if you want you can kind of back comb the top a little bit and spray this and have all to the back but I prefer to have parting I will divide my hair into two halves so just like so and I will just first comb my hair and again I'm just combing my hair with my fingers and just adjusting them how I want them to sit but I'm not going too high I'm going quite low and I again I'm just twisting it around themselves and this part I'm just gonna pin up I can do it quite messy, that doesn't matter. So just like so, and then again, I can just push out a little bit on the top. Maybe add a bit of dry shampoo for texture. I'm just taking the rest of the hair I'm kind of twisting them up up and around and this one is kind of a bit more elegant more done it just kind of has a mess at the back but still it just has textured mess so in that way it kind of looks as well very very now and uh, very trendy very modern and elegant and you can go to the office with it or you can go to the wedding with it it just depends what you are wearing but also it's very very fast and you just kind of messily clip your hair up and it actually works much better on the second or the third day you washed your hair because the hair is gonna have more grip and texture and it's gonna hold better it's not gonna have all those flyaways and then obviously you can use more hairspray if you have to secure it but it's as easy to create you just need a little bit more grips and pins I hope you really enjoyed it I hope it helped leave some comments down below and let me know if you have any other your favorite hairstyles or there's anything else you would like me to recreate and show you anything that you struggle with i will be more than happy to help make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you put thumbs up and i will see you very soon in the next video thank you bye